awesome land. This is me, I'm on a plane, it's middle of the night, I'm exhausted. I get in at one o'clock and I show up at this place, except it was dark. I walk in and talk to the clerk at the desk who then says, Sorry, Jim, even though you had a reservation, we sold your room to someone else. The nearest available room is 52 miles away. So here's me, except it was dark. I said to myself, I have a meeting at 8, it's 2 now, more time to check in, no time to sleep, forget it. So I got a pillow and blanket from the helpful person behind the desk and I slept here. Actually it wasn't too bad until about 4 it started raining and a live possum crawled under the truck. Somebody didn't do their job and I needed to find out who. So I sent an email to this guy. He is the vice president of guests sleeping in their cars. Never did hear from him, but I heard from her, who is a reasonably helpful assistant. And she referred me to this person, the hotel manager, who is supposed to call and apologize. But I didn't want to be apologized to, I want to know who didn't do their job. Remember this graph we did back in episode 13? Well, let's try it again for this situation. The personal accountability is on the bottom axis. High personal accountability and low control is the poor little clerk. Low accountability and high control is the VP of car sleeping. Down here is the reasonably helpful assistant. And over here someplace is the hotel manager. So in the middle here, there's a gap. And in that gap is this guy, the amorphous they. They set up a system to release the rooms if there are no-shows. They are driven to try to maximize efficiency. They are accepting the risk that they'll make a gold medallion guy like me sleep in the car. And they think it's good business to do so. So they said, free up those rooms at midnight. They sold one extra room for $150. The manager pulled the trigger. The poor desk worker had to be accountable. So here's the corporate mission statement to create heartfelt experiences for guests. Well, guess what? It worked in this case. But they were not in alignment with the stated policy. They increased the profitability by about $75. They actually cost the company $1,700 because since that night I've stayed in other properties and they don't care because they have no personal accountability. So they didn't do their job. Now if they want to take ownership and say, Jim, it was me who made you sleep in the car, they might make me feel a little better. 